step when it comes to installing your oven frame is to make sure that you've got good solid supports underneath the legs. If you already have an existing concrete slab, that will be fine. That's all you'll need. Uh, however, if you've got dirt, which we have in this case, we're going to need to dig out until we hit hard clay. Then we're going to pour in some rapid set concrete. Uh, and in our case, we're going to be capping that concrete with just a paver just to give us a nice finish on the top of the, the concrete footing. So those little footings will be the supports to hold up the frame. So the first step is going to be setting out the footings. So you refer to your instructions to make sure that you actually set out the footings in the right location. The location of those footings will depend on the size of the oven frame that you're installing. So you can see we've gone through our topsoil and we've hit nice hard clay. Uh, so that's all we're going to need. Right, so we need to mix some concrete to put in the bottom of our footings. We're using rapid set uh, because we don't want to be waiting around for hours for it to go off. Uh, when you're using rapid set, it literally, if you mix it right and it's warm weather, it can go off in 10 minutes. Uh, so make sure you've got everything ready. Um, don't mix up too much at a time. We're just gonna mix up two bags. Uh, so just add water. This particular mix needs 2.5 liters per bag. We've got two bags in here, so I'm gonna put in about five liters of water and then I'll mix it up with a shovel. This could be done in a wheelbarrow. Um, I like to use these plastic tubs. They're only a few dollars from your local hardware store. Almost every hardware store I've ever been into has these available. Uh, you'll find them really, really helpful, particularly later on when you're mixing up your render, your mortar. Having a few tubs like this is fantastic. So we've got that to a nice thick consistency. It's not soup, uh, but it's not too dry either. All right, we've got our concrete mixed up. We're gonna top up our little footings here. So I'm going to fill it in. In this case, it's almost 200 mil deep of concrete. Then what we're going to do, because we want it to look nice and I don't want to have a sort of a rough exposed concrete finish, I'm going to take one of these pavers and I'm going to set that onto the top of the wet concrete to give it a nice smooth finish. What I'm doing here is I'm vibrating the concrete to get the air pockets out. Do one at a time. I'm gonna level each one as I go to make sure that one isn't higher than the other. We've already got one of our pavers in and that sets the level for the rest of the other pavers. We don't want one paver or one footing to be higher than the other. So what we do is we put some concrete in our hole. I'm just gonna drop this one in and just check, we use a spirit level and just check if it's at the same height as the other one. I can see here, this end actually needs to come up uh, about, looks like about 10 or 12 mil. So, take that off. Right, let's try that again. That's better, now we're a little bit too high. That's looking good, nice and nice and level now just because i'm level from there to there doesn't mean that this is level and this is where having one of these little guys just a little it's called a bullet level is fantastic because it's like it's small it's easy to use so it's telling me that's going to come down that way that edge has to come down and we're done right and that's how you're going to install your footings. Now, you don't have to use these concrete pavers, that's not critical. Uh, it is nice though, and it does give you a nice flat surface, whereas if you didn't use these, you would have to get a trowel and trowel that surface flat. Uh, so using these makes your life a bit easier. 
they're only a few dollars at any hardware store uh, so well worth thinking about using these Got our steel frame here ready to go into place. The steel frame comes fully welded, uh, no need to bolt it together. It's all already done for you uh, for this particular size. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift that into position and place it on the pads that we put down there. Now, it will still have a slight rock. I dare say, even though we leveled out those pads pretty well, I'll be very surprised if we got them to the millimeter. Now, so what we'll need to do is pack up one leg just to get it to flat and stop it from rocking. 